So day 16 is dramatic. And I want to talk about the kind of trend I've seen over the last 20 years where there's been a bigger emphasis more and more on games that are doing a narrative spin. Now, we kind of saw this early on in the 90s, although there was still a bit of crunch even back then. Now, there's definitely a spin towards towards more dramatic systems when it comes to dramatic dramaticisms either with the dice or in a narrative sense. Now, it would be easy to say that dramatic is just another form of story game, but I don't agree with that. I do think that in any sense, ideally you want to have rules add drama, not take away from them. Um, And sometimes this can be just with how die rolls work in a given game, or sometimes it can be with some sort of extra effort system, which I've harped on for years about in um, games that I've reviewed. But in either case... The emphasis should be on adding something that can add a little bit of a attention-grabbing moment within the uh, game. This is the reason why I like um, extra effort systems. Although just although just having a do-over doesn't mean that I'm going to count it as an extra effort uh, system on its own. It has to do a bit more than that, but it's one of those things where you can't really pin down what that more is because it's going to differ from game to game. Now, the other thing that I find interesting is that with the shifting away for a lot of games from um, the whole grid system, there's more of an emphasis of tr- of placing um, timing based on scenes more than anything else. And this is something that I've wholeheartedly gone with. I've argued that a GM should, r- should write out their particular... Um, sessions or their particular adventures in a campaign as if they were writing a format for an, for a TV series episode not necessarily in the script sense but more in the broad bullet point sense i.e. here's what happens in scene here's the general idea of what we're going for for scene 1 the scene scene transition to scene 2 transition to scene 3 etc um whether you do the western 3 act version or the japanese 4 act version which is a whole different can of worms Doing this approach allows for a good amount of legroom compa- when it comes to how you're going to structure what happens in each, but still providing some room for personalization when the chaos factor known as players gets into the mix. 